Hey guys, uh, I am here in beautiful Burnaby, BC, um, staying with uh, a buddy of mine, um, uh, Brian Cowie. Brian and I um, have uh, uh, quite a bit of history together. I would say I give him a lot of credit for getting me um, in the sport and kind of introduced me to uh, the possibilities of the national team and the track. And, and so uh, Brian was my... Uh, Stoker. So he we, we did tandem races together and uh, actually won a national championship together. So when I'm in BC, uh, he's uh, generous enough to have me come stay here and check out this path. I've been asked to answer a bunch of questions from a new athlete that I'm coaching. Uh, when we did the initial assessment, I uh, was told uh, told her I'd be interrogating her, and uh, in turn she could. Uh, ask me a bunch of questions back. Well, we didn't do that in the assessment, but uh, I did receive an email with some unbelievable qu questions, and I thought instead of writing back a novel, I would uh, videotape it and, uh, and then have it to, to share with everybody. So, so here we go, we'll start at the top. Well, I would say uh, definitely uh, a, a lot of my um, expertise in coaching is from hands-on experience. I would uh, say I was always like a, a sponge and a student when I was playing all kinds of sports. Really looked up to uh, all the coaches that I uh, came in contact with. Um, they made an unbelievable impression on me. My football coaches in high school, um, you know, I, I wanted a lot of their time and I was uh, asking them uh, constantly, uh, you know, questions and hanging around and really bothering the hell out of them. Um, being the captain of the football team way back when, uh, I relished the role of, uh, you know, leading the guys and, uh, you know, trying to go to battle with the group and uh, trying to get everybody as a, a cohesive unit. Um, so I would say a, a lot of hands-on training that just came natural and, you know, I've always kind of been, uh, uh, enjoyed that role. I do have uh, a certification, uh, the NCCP, I'm in training, I've taken a couple of their courses uh, in cross skills and, uh, and mountain biking, and uh, I'm in the process of uh, getting my NCCP certification. Um, I have, uh, I'm a certified personal trainer, uh, I've been for uh, over 10 years now, and I also have uh, uh, my first aid and CPR, and I've probably taken that course, I don't know, numerous times uh, over the years. So uh, very uh, uh, well-versed in, in first aid. Well, I'm uh, constantly trying to learn uh, new things. I, my athletes uh, are, are amazing, and uh, they, they do uh, uh, force me out of my comfort zone, that's for sure. I would say I gravitate to the mental part of the sport, uh, the things that... Uh, you know, really push my buttons or, you know, why I do the things I do and, and why I put myself in these uncomfortable spots and, and what winning means and, and why do I need to, uh, uh, you know, be high performance. Uh, so I'm always very uh, drawn to that side of the sport. So I would say, uh, you know, that comes natural and that's, that's the kind of stuff that, uh, you know, when I'm on YouTube or picking up a book in the airport or, you know, anything, I'm, I'm really, the mental side is what makes me tick. So. I would say to expand my knowledge is, is the stuff that uh, I'm not that uh, curious about or doesn't uh, get me out of the bed in the morning and, and uh, you know, the, the data collection and the uh, being a bit of a lab rat, you know, you, you know, if you say the science side of uh, coaching, it's something that I need to be great at and I, and I would say, you know, I've gotten better at it and better at it over the years, you know, looking at files constantly every day and, and really trying to be more of a a data junkie myself, but uh, you know I, I still have lots to learn, and, and I am constantly learning. And I would say I would I would love to continue to uh, be a little bit better on the the science uh, side of, of the sport. Ah, my biggest cycling accomplishment to date. It's hard to narrow it down to one. I I would say uh, I have a few that I'm I'm quite proud of. Um, I think I've put myself in some. In some good spots, and, and my self belief to say uh, when I've started something or joined something, saying, you know, I, I could do this, or I could be good at this, or you know, I, I want uh, big things. Uh, the trying out for the national team was uh, was quite an accomplishment. I feel like uh, just 
you know, make my way down to LA and kind of go into a little bit of a bee's nest of uh, not really being anyone's first pick or on the radar or even wanting anybody wanting me there. Uh, I feel like that was, you know, something, I don't know, puts a smile on my face and makes me happy and makes me think, you know, I actually did it, you know, to be 37 years old and, and, and make the national team. That's, that's uh, yeah, still still makes me happy today. So yeah, definitely quite an accomplishment. I would say right up there with it would be the hour record. You know, the first time I, I tried it, it, it felt like uh, low hanging fruit and something that, um, you know, other guys had, you know, maybe had not done or because of the velodrome, we didn't have the, a world class facility that, you know, they never even attempted it. Um, the records that were there, you know, some of them were outdoors, and, and another fellow that uh, had recently he had got it uh, had had some trouble, and you know he had a good time, but it wasn't his absolute best. So when I saw the time, and I thought, you know, I could I could actually go and break the world uh, or the Canadian hour record. Um, so it was it was kind of cool to to give that a shot. So that was that was quite an accomplishment to get that. The second time um, that I attempted it and actually got the age group world record. You know that was that was something that uh, yeah I don't know if I fully appreciate it yet um, but what I do appreciate is um, you know in that time uh, span of you know two years two and a half years that there you know as far as I know to my knowledge in Canada only one other person attempted the uh, to to break the uh, you know the Canadian record so um, you know there was a few people at the day of the hour and that but. Uh, so I mean, to, to put yourself out there to fail on a on a grand stage in front of everybody to tell everybody you're you're, you know, you're going to do the hour and you know, you never know how it's going to go. I'm pretty proud of uh, just taking a risk, uh, a gamble, and I'm thankful that it it, it paid off. Wow, well, I mean, hard not to be emotional <laughs> as soon as I start this is my problem you know I'm an I'm a emotional guy but uh, you know just just thinking about being a, a dad and um, having a healthy boy pretty proud of that um, hmm. yeah I, I it's a Definitely my greatest accomplishment. All right, let's try that again. Take two. Um, my greatest accomplishment is my son. Uh, I uh, I would say, um, you know, try not to get emotional again, but it's going to get uh, be hard. Uh, he's turned in, out to be a wonderful person and someone I'm extremely proud of and love being around and, uh, and yeah so definitely uh, my my son is uh, one of the greatest accomplishment of my life um, I, I may had one wish it, this this helps me a lot when I have tough times or things aren't going my way because I, I I made one wish for a healthy baby and I got it so Oh, this is a great question. My goals in bike racing here on out. Um, I, I struggle with this, and, I, and I've been struggling with it lately. I feel like, um, you know, a lot of the things that I've uh, chased came very quickly and naturally, and I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that. Or, you know, I, I went to the midweek, and I was like, I want to win this series, and I went to an O-Cup, and I'm like, I want to win the O-Cup series. And, and uh, you know, I've, I've done a lot of those things. So, you know, usually when I put out a goal, they... Um, I don't know. I've been fortunate that it's come to fruition, but uh, I don't really have any right now, and this is this is a problem. You know, I'm I'm going through the motions. I, I'm still doing all the same stuff I normally do. I you know I, I I'm racing every weekend. I'm you know I'm training. I love the uh, the process, and you know I love being fit and healthy and strong and that. But uh, as far as having a a real tangible goal um, in the sport as of right now, I, I don't have one. And uh, you know, as a as an athlete and a, and a coach, you know, I know that's a problem. So I'm uh, I, I you know the national criterion was something I wanted to do well at, and uh, unfortunately the the course just wasn't for me. And you know, I, I had a great day, but uh, you know, it was a DNF. 
And uh, you know, I'm like I said, I, you know, I, some of the big races, I, I, I haven't won them all, and I would love to, uh, you know, check a whole bunch of them off my bucket list as far as uh, you know. Um, so I mean, I, I show up to all the races and I give everything I have. Um, but yeah, right now I'm searching for uh, you know a concrete goal as far as what's next, and uh, you know I'm open to anybody's suggestion. So you know I, I I've over the, you know the last couple months I've you know I've thought of uh, Ram you know that would be something to uh, do or you know I, whether it's uh, you know cycling specific who knows uh, you know it could be adventure racing it could be uh, biathlon who friggin knows I, I'm uh, I'm up for all kinds of challenges and. Uh, uh, I don't really want to, uh, I don't know, uh, play beer league sports, you know, so I'm, I'm still wired for high performance and if I'm going to do it, I want to, um, you know, I want to be the, the best I possibly can be. Well, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I, uh, I get a lot of reward out of helping people. And uh, yeah, it's constant. I, I, I kind of live for the emails and the texts and the feedback. And uh, when I'm, uh, you know, at, at races or um, at the time trial, you know, and, and people are getting personal bests and, and uh, somehow I can be a part of that, um, you know, I don't want that to end. I, 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 I can't tell you how much that means to me. So it's, it's always been uh, a goal of mine to try and, you know, uh, touch or help. Uh, be a part of people's, uh, you know, a success, whatever that may be. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, anything to do with power or a stopwatch. Um, you know, some of the goals, uh, you know, I, I would say is just like uh, if, if I can help somebody get through the day, you know, have some joy or, uh, you know, just be a shoulder to cry on. A lot of the coaching that I enjoy um, is, is life coaching and, uh, you know, understanding that, you know, balance and, and uh, there's way more to, to life than just, you know, high performance sports. So, um, I mean, I, I, just like anybody else, I, I love coaching, uh, you know, a national champion or a provincial champion. Um, I, uh, I have quite a few athletes that are having extreme amount of success. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, as far as like a, writing down a concrete goal of, you know, getting someone to the world tour or, uh, you know, having someone on the national team, um, you know, I would love that. But, uh, you know, maybe that's another thing. I, I haven't actually written down um, those, you know, tangible, quantifiable goals for my athletes. I, I let them decide and then, you know, I guess, I, you know, I, I'm just there to, to help them get wherever they need to be. Uh, I have a, a lot of frustrating moments. Um, you know, some are uh, just time. You know, you've been doing this a long, uh, long time, and you, you hear the same questions, or you have the same problems, or you know, uh, I, I feel like there's triggers. Uh, they're not athlete specific, but it, it's more me. You know, I've uh, an example is you know, someone will say to me, well, like, what cadence should I be riding at? And you know, you do this for ten years, and uh, you've been asked that a thousand times. You know, right away, you know, it could have been the first time the athletes asked me, but, you know, it's it's a thousand times of hearing this question. So uh, I would say I, I do get frustrated sometimes, and sometimes I think, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not cut out for this, you know, like maybe I, I don't have the patience or, I, you know, I, I uh, you know, they could just read me like a book that I'm annoyed or, uh, you know, quick to go like, give me a break, are you asking these questions? But, uh, you know, I... Um, I would say that's something that I'm, I'm definitely trying to resolve, you know, something that I'm trying to work on, something that, you know, I, I love, you know, you, you don't get anywhere without asking questions. So, I mean, being uh, a little bit more understanding or empathetic or really trying to, you know, see where people are coming from and, and why they're asking that or how they're getting caught up on, on different things, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a work in progress and, uh, you know, be a better coach, it, it is, you know, for myself trying to be more self-aware on what what annoys me and, and what bothers me so I mean not everybody is uh, is drawn to the same things or is gonna see things the same way and we all learn a little bit differently so I mean um, yeah I would say you know that's just one example there's there's lots of stuff like that but uh, you know um, uh, yeah I try my best not to get frustrated <laughs> Well, uh, I would say uh, when someone has success, it feels like my success. When someone's up on the podium, it feels like I'm up on the podium. 
when um, when an athlete of mine contacts me for any of their uh, you know things their their breakthroughs or anything they've experienced that uh, you know you know I've been able to be a part of or guide them in some way I, I feel like uh, I don't know it, it's uh, it's such a wonderful feeling so I mean that motivates me I um, I can't I think this is something I, I want to do forever I, I really do uh, enjoy uh, being part of somebody's journey you know and uh, so it, it is got stale it isn't uh, it isn't you know, it, I, it isn't a medal, it isn't a trophy, it isn't, uh, you know, that, uh, like a, a, a time. You know, it's not just like a place in time. It's a, it's a constant. It's just being there and, uh, you know, and knowing uh, you're there for them and they're there for you. And uh, I love the bonds. I love the friendships. I love the, uh, you know, the, the whole experience. So, you know, it's, it's extremely motivating. And uh, I, uh, yeah. I uh, have always, I guess a, a big part of my identity is um, being an athlete. And, uh, you know, I was going to say I've always, but it hasn't been always. It was late. But uh, since since I made the kind of the commitment to being an athlete, I love it. And uh, I love the, the walk. I love the talk. I love... Uh, you know the um, atmosphere. I, you know, I, I'm. I walk into a gym. It feels like home. Uh, walk into the velodrome. It's where I'm supposed to be. You know, any event or race. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I, um, you know, jokingly with some friends. You know, if we go back to Roman times, you know, I, I would love to say I'd be the gladiator. You know, I love performing. I love being on stage. I love the energy, the crowd. Um, so. You know, competing at a high level and being competitive, and uh, you know the challenge, the risk, the the, the danger. The, I love the speed. Um, yeah, I, I I wouldn't. I'm not completely fearless, uh, but I I love that feeling of being on the edge, um, and I definitely love going up against the the other uh, amazingly talented athletes that push me and get the best out of me. Like I I don't. You know, I uh, I don't know how to explain it. I love seeing the other alpha male and and wanting to go heads up at our sport. I love seeing a team that's completely dialed head to toe, matchy matchy, and and uh, saying, you know, why not me? Why not now? Um, and uh, yeah, I would say it's I'm, I'm extremely motivated. So you know, um, and I don't I, I hopefully it never ends. That's that's one thing I you know I I. I if I had a worry, it's not about me giving a hundred percent or you know jump through a plate glass window to um, to get a result. Um, it's waking up one day and um, this motivation or this mojo just not being there. So that's uh, but until then, I'm <laughs> I'm extremely motivated. I would say um, I I don't have a cycling coach. Um, I'm. Uh, always been a, a mentor kind of guy I don't have a specific person that I you know I, I, I follow or uh, that guides me but um, I, I have a few and I and whether they know it or not um, I'm constantly bouncing ideas off these people I have a few trusted people that are in my life that um, you know are, are there to kind of uh, listen to me rant or you know kind of uh, less listen to me let me um, clear my thoughts um, you know when they they do give me guidance uh, you know it isn't uh, you know so structured they you know they, they tell me what I need to hear uh, maybe without a bias uh, and uh, it's it's got me this far so I, I definitely have some mentors in my life that's for sure um, and like I said maybe they maybe they don't know how much they mean to me or if they, they realize uh, you know that they are in that uh, that coach kind of uh, role in my life but they are and you know I would say there's probably easy a half a dozen that uh, you know as a committee um, help me you know uh, with my my uh, my sport now I did um, experience um, having a coach when I was uh, working with the national team and so that was uh, you know four four and a half years of uh, some guidance um, I was still looking after all my my um, my road 
uh, training and uh, so when I was in camps you know I, I definitely was very structured I followed everything that was given to me and and I enjoyed it I actually relished it it was it was fantastic and then when I was away from those camps or not in a project then you know I looked after my training once again which once again I enjoyed and relished and to this day uh, wouldn't want it any other way so um, so yeah um, so no not a real specific coach but definitely a coach by committee Um, over the years, I've uh, I've had a roster. Uh, I think the most I've ever coached at one time was 20, 21 or twenty two athletes, and uh, it was in the beginning where you know I um, I thought having more was better that quantity over quality. Um, you know, I definitely wasn't charging the same amount, so you know I needed uh, you know as many as possible to you know to pay the bills. Um, I've always had a few athletes that you know I um, they get a deal or some youth that I don't charge at all. Um, but I did find that with uh, 20 plus athletes, it, it was hard for me to stay on top of them and uh, be very um, kind of in tune with all 20. So I did change things quite a bit and I think right now I have 13 um, and they're, they're the quality people that I, I want to work with. So um, I do a really intense initial assessment right now. Um, I always did, but it's gotten to the point where I'm, I really only want to work with people that I want to work with. Um, this, this coaching is a lifestyle, and uh, the last thing I want is the phone to ring and not want to have to pick it up. So the athletes on my roster are you know, um, worth investing in, and I would say definitely chose quality over quantity. And uh, so right now, you know, I, I probably could take on a few more. You know, it does move, uh, you know, like with, you know, life and people coming and going. And, and uh, but I would say somewhere between 10 and 15, you know, athletes, uh, that's, that's kind of the, the sweet spot. I, I've learned so many. And, uh, you know, I would say it's always hard to narrow it down to, you know, like one, one particular lesson. Um, I've had a few um, be careful what you wish for moments, um, you know, with big goals and dreams and, you, you know, you want all these things and then you get there and it's, uh, it's way harder than you imagined or it's not anything like you imagined. And, uh, and so I would say um, this sport was very much uh, leisure, you know, uh, recreational, it was an out, it was a... Uh, a break in the day, you know, it was it was to relax, um, and you know, I went and made it, uh, you know, uh, high performance. Uh, my job, in a sense, you know, I, and I and I, I took something that you know was uh, sightseeing and uh, you know, kind of just uh, vacation, and then I made it uh, stressful, and uh, and I, you know, so I would say. It's okay, and a lot of things have come from it, but um, with big goals comes big sacrifice. And, you know, I would caution anybody that, you know, that thinks that um, being on the top is, uh, is easy. And uh, so that's, that's one of the things I would say. That a lesson learned is that um, with, you know, climbing the ladder, you know, there's, there's people that support you, and, you know, I want to push you up, and, and, uh, and then <clears throat> once you get there, there's people that want to chop you down. So. Big thank you goes out to Whitney for putting these uh, this list of questions together. Um, I hope I answered them uh, well enough for you. Uh, if there's anyone out there that uh, has any other questions or you know wants wants me to elaborate on anything that I, I may have uh, stumbled on or missed or you know like stuff uh, was done poorly because you know I haven't uh, seen this yet. Uh, just uh, send them my way. I, I can't promise to be done in a, a video form, but uh, you know, I, I feel like uh, there's maybe quite a few of you out there that um, have some questions or you know might uh, want to pick my brain on something. So feel free. That's uh, the green light to send something my way.